few people noticed, but Elon Musk dropped one of the biggest clues about Tesla's new energy revolution. It wasn't at a major event, nor in a fireworks-filled announcement. It was in a subtle, almost timid statement about scalability, extreme safety, and cost per kilowatt hour. These words, spoken almost casually, set off alarm bells for those closely following the company's movements. Behind this seemingly innocuous comment lies a hint that Tesla is about to launch something that could put an end to old-school lithium-ion batteries, the much-rumored aluminum-ion battery, a technology that, if truly ready, could be a game-changer for the global automotive industry. For years, Tesla worked behind the scenes to achieve this milestone. While the world was discussing faster chargers and solar panels, the company was acquiring strategic startups like Amprius, Cilion, and Novalith. Each brought a piece of the puzzle. Advanced anodes, large-scale electrochemical drying processes, and cheaper, more abundant materials. Tesla not only invested heavily in internal research, but also absorbed external expertise, ensuring complete control over the production chain, from raw materials to the cell assembled in the car. All this without fanfare. Quietly, Elon Musk was building the next leap forward in the electric industry. And the most curious thing is how this transition was made without attracting attention. Unlike the 4680 battery presentation, which featured a stage and a show, aluminum ion technology appeared in the subtext. But those who put the pieces together realized the repeated use of terms like low cost per kilo and high reliability was no coincidence, especially coming from a company obsessed with cutting costs and scaling production. The absence of technical terms in the speech only made the revelation more intriguing. Musk was signaling a new era, but in his own way, with subtlety and mystery. It's the kind of thing that seems small at first glance, but changes everything in retrospect. The timing of this revelation wasn't random either. With the Model 2 about to launch, Tesla needed a technological trump card to make it truly affordable. Lithium batteries, however good they may be, have already reached their cost-benefit limits. Any price cut now compromises performance or safety. Therefore, something new and disruptive was needed, and aluminum was there, silent, cheap, and abundant. More than a technical choice, this change was a matter of competitive survival, and Musk, as always, chose to act before the rest of the market noticed the changing tide. But it's not just the Model 2 that could benefit from this move. The humanoid robot Optimus, for example, requires a dense, safe, and long-lasting power source to operate flawlessly for long periods. The new battery meets all these requirements and goes further, offering reduced recharge time and superior thermal stability. In a robot that may operate in close contact with humans, any risk of overheating or power failure would be unacceptable. In this context, aluminum ion chemistry is not only ideal, it's almost inevitable. Another curious application circulating behind the scenes is a next-generation electric wheelchair. While still lacking official confirmation, rumors and prototype spy shots suggest Tesla wants to redefine personal mobility at the individual level. In this scenario, a lightweight, safe battery with ultra-fast charging and resistance to extreme temperatures would be the decisive differentiator. And once again, the technology the company seems to have quietly mastered fits like a glove. If confirmed, this application would demonstrate how the impact of this energy revolution extends far beyond automobiles. The choice of aluminum also reflects a broader strategic positioning. While the industry debates the depletion of lithium reserves and the geopolitical issues surrounding cobalt, Tesla is taking a step in the opposite direction, toward abundance. Aluminum is present in over 40 countries, can be easily recycled, and costs a fraction of refined lithium. By adopting this raw material, the company reduces its dependence on unstable supply chains and positions itself more sustainably in the long term. This not only reduces the cost of the final vehicle, but also protects the company against external shocks in the global market. More impressive than the technical data 
or the comparison charts is the silence with which all this is being done. Elon Musk no longer needs to shout for the world to hear. He knows that when it comes to true innovation, results speak louder than any tweet. A true revolution doesn't begin with a bold face announcement, but with a well-executed strategic shift, which will only be fully understood when it's impossible to turn back. And perhaps, when the streets are filled with cars with aluminum batteries, the world will finally understand what really happened behind the scenes at Tesla. If there's one thing that stands out about Tesla's new aluminum ion battery, it's how it shatters long-standing industry benchmarks. It's not a small improvement here or there, but rather a radical shift in four crucial areas. Cost, recharge speed, durability, and safety. Starting with cost, the difference is already staggering. While a 60 kWh pack with lithium cells costs Tesla around $7,800, the equivalent with aluminum ions plummets to between $3,900 and $4,200. That's a direct savings of nearly $4,000 per car. And that's no small feat when it comes to mass production. This additional margin opens up strategic possibilities. Tesla can choose to lower the car's final price and capture an even larger share of the popular market, or invest that money in other, more sophisticated components such as autonomous driving chips, advanced sensors, or even more premium interiors. Whatever the decision, the logic is simple. With this cost reduction, the company gains the firepower to compete even more aggressively with brands like BYD and Hyundai without sacrificing profitability. And let's face it, in a price war scenario in the electric sector, this completely changes the game. Now, regarding recharging speed, the leap is even more absurd. While lithium batteries require 30 to 60 minutes to charge to 80% on a fast charger, tests with aluminum ions indicate less than 5 minutes for a virtually full charge. This isn't just faster, it's a new standard. For the average driver, it means a quick stop at the grocery store can provide enough power for the rest of the day. Forget the idea of waiting for the car to charge. Recharging becomes as automatic as filling up with gas. And this detail has another huge impact. Charging infrastructure. With such short charging times, each Tesla station can serve five to 10 times more vehicles in the same period. This means fewer lines, less waiting, and best of all, less investment in building new stations. The company can multiply its efficiency without increasing infrastructure costs. For those who thought the bottleneck to EV growth was the number of chargers, perhaps the problem was always the slowness of the old technology. Durability, on the other hand, seems like the stuff of science fiction. Lithium ion batteries typically last between 1,000 and 3,000 complete cycles before beginning to seriously degrade. Aluminum ion batteries, on the other hand, have surpassed 10,000 cycles in laboratory tests without significant loss. This can equate to more than 2 million kilometers, enough to drive the same car for a lifetime with battery life remaining. In practical terms, a Tesla owner with this battery may never need to think about replacing or maintaining the pack again. The long-term savings are staggering, and it doesn't stop there. Safety also takes a notable leap forward. Anyone who follows electric vehicles has seen news reports of cars catching fire after accidents or overheating. This happens because lithium batteries use flammable electrolytes and are subject to a phenomenon called thermal runaway. With aluminum chemistry, this risk virtually disappears. There are no volatile electrolytes or unstable dendrite growth. Even under extreme abuse, the cells remain thermally stable, a relief especially for those who park their car in a closed garage or transport children in the back seat. This thermal stability also extends the vehicle's operating range. With aluminum, the battery can operate between 40 tocrititers and 200 tocrititers without performance degradation. This means it can handle both freezing Minnesota winters and scorching Arizona summers with equal efficiency. This eliminates another common EV headache. Loss of range in extreme weather. 
With this battery, drivers simply no longer need to worry about cold or heat affecting their journey. In short, what Tesla is proposing with this new battery isn't just an upgrade. It's a departure from everything we've known so far. Cost reduction, instant recharging, decades-long lifespan, and unparalleled safety aren't incremental improvements. They're attributes that completely reposition the electric vehicle proposition. And if the company can truly scale this technology without compromising production, it will be hard to imagine a future where any other battery type still makes sense. The Model 2, which promises to be Tesla's most affordable car to date, is a key part of this transformation. Set to debut at just $15,990, it's not just a cheap car. It's the symbol of the industrial transformation Elon Musk has been quietly planning. And it's precisely this new aluminum-ion battery that makes this promise a reality. The idea of putting a Tesla in an average family's garage without government subsidies or accounting tricks seemed far-fetched until recently. But with a drastic cut in battery costs, the biggest obstacle is being removed. This new chemistry not only serves to reduce the cost of the final product, but also to maintain the company's profit margins. It's a point often overlooked in the debate about affordable cars. Lowering the price is easy, but doing so without financial bleeding is difficult. The aluminum ion battery will cost around 2,150 per unit in the Model 2, almost half what a similar lithium ion battery currently costs. With this margin, Tesla can compete head to head with models like the Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic, but with the advantage of offering a 100% electric vehicle that's modern, technological, and much cheaper to maintain. Tesla has already confirmed that it plans to begin production with a batch of 50,000 units, focused on testing the new battery's performance in a wide range of conditions across the United States, from the cold of Minnesota to the heat of Arizona. This pragmatic approach shows that, despite the excitement about the new technology, the company wants to ensure everything works in practice before scaling it globally. The goal, however, is ambitious to reach 2 million units per year by 2028. And with this battery, that number no longer seems like a Silicon Valley pipe dream. What makes the Model 2 even more strategic is that it's not just a car, it's a Trojan horse. With its low price, 300 mile range, and five minute recharge, it serves as a gateway for millions of new consumers who never imagined driving a Tesla. It's a subtle trap against fossil fuels and combustion cars in general. And at the same time, it's a well-planned attack on direct competitors who remain trapped by the limitations of lithium batteries or high production costs. Another striking detail is how this battery could redefine what's expected of an economy car. Typically, when talking about an entry-level model, one expects less power, simpler finishes, and longer recharging times. But the Model 2 defies this logic. It arrives with a robust technology package and a realistic usage plan. Recharge almost completely during a quick stop at the grocery store and drive for days without worry. This completely changes the user experience and could accelerate the transition of traditional drivers to electric vehicles without the typical adjustment shock. So, and surprisingly, this battery price cut also leaves room for Tesla to add technologies previously only available in more expensive models. The same AI navigation system, advanced safety sensors, voice-activated user interface, and over-the-air software updates, all of which can be maintained or even improved. The key lies in budget redirection. Savings on battery cells can be reallocated to other areas of the car without increasing the final price. This equation, which seems magical at first glance, is only possible because Tesla has built something few competitors have, a verticalized production chain extending from mining to software. By mastering each step of the process, the company can integrate innovations like this without relying on external suppliers or fragile logistics networks. This translates into agility, cost savings, and above all, control. 
essential for transforming an experimental battery into a global standard. Ultimately, the Model 2 may be remembered not only as the car that brought electric vehicles to the masses, but also as the watershed moment when the legacy industry realized, too late, that it had fallen behind. And by the time competitors finally catch on, millions of people will already be driving around with aluminum ion batteries under their feet, unaware that they are part of the greatest automotive revolution of the century. While the industry is still debating the environmental challenges of lithium batteries, Tesla appears to have already taken the next step. Choosing aluminum as the basis for its new generation of batteries isn't just a technical decision. It's a far-reaching environmental and geopolitical move. Lithium, while still essential, is increasingly associated with negative impacts. Intense water use, soil degradation, polluting extraction processes, and dependence on unstable regions. In contrast, aluminum is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, with production distributed across more than 40 countries, including powerhouses like the US, Canada, and Australia. This significantly reduces supply chain risks and gives Tesla more control over its production. Besides its abundance, aluminum also stands out for the energy efficiency of its recycling chain. About 75% of all aluminum ever produced worldwide is still in use. This means Tesla doesn't need to reinvent the wheel. It can rely on an existing industrial infrastructure with well-established recycling processes rather than relying on new lithium recycling technologies, which are still in their infancy. The company itself announced that it will be able to reuse up to 80% of the materials in these new batteries completing a much cleaner, more economical and predictable production cycle. Another point that often goes unnoticed is the amount of water used in mining. Lithium, especially in brine form, consumes enormous volumes of fresh water, affecting entire regions, such as the Atacama Desert. Aluminum mining, while facing its own challenges, has a much smaller impact in this regard, especially when operated with renewable energy. Tesla, which already uses clean sources in its gigafactories, thus manages to create a nearly closed production cycle, where solar energy powers the machines that produce the recyclable batteries that later power cars. It sounds like a science fiction script, but it's happening now. And it doesn't stop there. With the new, lighter, more efficient battery, the indirect environmental impact also decreases. Lighter cars require less energy to run, which means fewer recharges and, consequently, less demand for electricity generation. In regions where energy still comes from fossil fuels, this represents considerable emissions savings. Furthermore, the reduced need for cooling systems, since aluminum is thermally more stable, reduces the use of heavy and complex components, which also helps the vehicle's overall ecological footprint. This combination of lightness, durability, and sustainability also paves the way for applications in other sectors. The same type of battery that makes the Model 2 greener and cheaper can be used in electric motorcycles, home energy storage systems, and even drones and industrial robots. This creates a cascade effect where innovation spreads beyond Tesla raising the environmental standards of the entire technology sector. It's not just about selling more cars, 